already. So there's no real easy way to do this. What we're going to do is use the same functionality that we did in the other video and use this script to copy a folder or file, you know, and all that stuff over to a networked location. So it could just be another shitty computer that you have laying around or an actual server. In my case, I have a server that I'm just running Windows 10 on. Um, it's not it's not connected to the internet or anything. It's just through a switch that's not connected to a router. And yeah, so what we're gonna do is once you, you know, I'm remoting into it because I already have remote setup set up for it. Otherwise you'll need to actually physically go to that computer to the server first and type in CMD, type in IP config, get your information. This is your IP right now. Um, and for a switch, like this isn't going to change because on a switch, but if you're on a router, after the lease time is up for your IP, your router will dish out a new IP for that device. You'll have to go into the router and make sure that your you give your device a static IP that your router says, hey, this IP is taken, um, only give it to this MAC address, and yada, yada, yada. That's different for everyone's router, so I can't really make a tutorial for it, but I could probably try. So anyway, you have that IP. Now we're gonna make a folder, let's just say on the desktop, we'll call this uh, test network share. You're gonna right click that to share with specific people. And just because this is pretty much secure, just do everyone and give them a read and write, click share, boom, there you go. So you'll copy that link right there. Now the next thing is you'll need to make sure that your account here has a password on it because you're gonna need that. If you don't have a password, you'll have to set one up. It's very easy. Just go to user accounts. Actually go to control panel because it's Windows 10 is fucky. So user accounts, the user accounts, and click you'll have to click manage another account first probably. Um, then you go create a, it'll say create a password and then you go from there. This is your account name that you'll be referencing when we go to log into it. So now we'll go ahead and this is my main computer. It's a new computer. We'll go ahead and open up a new folder here and we'll just go, oh, let's say, let's go to my PC. You can go add a network location, next. And actually, something I forgot is you have to <laughs> click network on here first, and you'll, it'll say network discovery is not on. We like to let this computer rediscover the network. Click yes. Now you come back here. You also do that. You go to network on your both computers, do that, and just allow network discovery. And click next here, and paste in that location, which is right there. Go next. In this case, it's probably not gonna be able to see that IP or that, that name of the computer. So we're probably gonna need to grab the IP address. That's what happens sometimes. If it's, if it's on a switch, you'll need to do that. If you're actually on a router, the router keeps that name. That's what the whole DHCP servers are for. This might still work. Or it might just lag out because it's like, I don't know what you're trying to search for. Okay, there we go. So, server two, my password is just space because I kept it easy for this account. Okay, and we can name it whatever we want to here. I'll just keep it as test network share, opens network location when I click finish. And there you go. So now with this selected, you can actually um, go one up here. And we'll just click and drag and we can put that over. Yeah, we scroll up here. You can actually just pin it right here. So if you just let go, and there it is. And there, you actually have access to this and you can start copying stuff. Let's say you want to copy this footage folder. Just copy it over the network and it's there. Uh, we can just delete that. We don't need that there. So now, how do we use this and make that work? Well, uh, for me, I'm going to use the IP because for me, the IP is not going to change. And yes, that the computer name wouldn't change, but it sometimes has issues with DHCP. 
push that on a switch. So you just come here, grab the IP, and go here to the file, change the location to this. And now for down here, you'll have to put two slashes right there. That's where that's going to come from. So like that and after the location, see that's just for the IP. So now you need to grab the rest of this right here, which is this. You should be able to, I haven't tried this yet, but I'll give it a shot here. You might be able to just do this and that might work. So let's go ahead and save that and let's run that. See what it says. Yep, so it's copying. Yeah. There you go, first try. And it's copying the information. There you go.